the University of Kansas Research and Training Center on Independent Living in the Lifespan Institute. How to write and report about people with disabilities. Our guidelines for disability terminology date back to 1984. In 2018, we'll publish our ninth edition. But first, we need your help. If you have a disability or if you're an advocate, which approach do you prefer? Person first language or identity first language? Confused? Person first emphasizes the person, not the disability. Example, person first. He is a person with autism. Identity first puts the disability related word first. Example, identity first. He is autistic. There's no right answer, but we want writers to adopt a respectful attitude. We encourage them to ask people which terms they prefer. Our goal is to make it easy for writers of every kind to find the best word for their purpose, words that convey the dignity of all people. We want to include language that is used today in our new guidelines. To share your feedback, please check out rtcil.org guidelines. Then email us at rtcil at ku.edu. We hope to hear from you.